When it comes to jobs in Python, what's the great deception? What's the great illusion? Well, simply, many of the Python jobs are in areas where you need some sort of degree or training in another field, specifically AI and data science. To put it simply, if you want to get into data science, it's not about learning Python. You have to become a data scientist first, and then you can learn Python to implement your data, data science techniques. Most of, the ja most of the Python jobs, as far as I can see, are in these specializations. Lots of jobs in those specializations, but you need more than just Python skills. That's the point I'm trying to make. Whereas, for example, if you got into JavaScript, you got into PHP, you got into web design, web development, uh, they, don't take, they don't require any other types of training. Uh, in the case of data science, I imagine you have to go to a university for a few years. It's very specialized. AI, um, if you're getting into advanced AI development, they're probably going to need for you to have lots and lots, lots, and lots of math skills. Uh, you may have to have a data science, to, excuse me, an AI degree. I haven't looked at the details there. But this is the thing that people discover in the Python world. Yes, there, are, there is a lot of work in Python, no question. But usually to get into that work, you need some other highly skilled, uh, well, you need some other skills, as I just mentioned. So keep that in mind. If you're looking to get into development and coding, generally speaking, I would suggest the web stack first and foremost, unless you got that scientific background, because with the web stack, you don't need a degree, you don't need to have, you don't need to have great math skills, um, and it's an open market, it's wide open, and the demand for those type of coders, those type of programmers, is just increasing. Uh, another example or another option for you would be to get into uh, Android development with Kotlin or Java, or to get into iOS native development with uh, Swift Objective-C, although I think with iOS, I think it's mostly Swift these days. So yeah, these are, again, other options where you can get into development uh, very quickly start making really good money without having to have a, a degree in uh, data science or uh, AI or something like that. So keep that in mind. So am I crapping over Python? Not at all. Python's cool language. It's one of the three programming languages that I teach, in fact. It's quite useful. Don't get me wrong. Python is used for much more than just AI and data science. It's used in web development. It's used in a lot of server backend stuff. It's quite a useful and a flexible language. That's its strength, by the way. Every language out there has its pros and its cons. Python's strength is its flexibility. There's so many Python modules out there. You can actually order a pizza with Python. It's, uh, I think it's Domino's. Anyway, it's all there. That's its strength. It's vast set of libraries, and they call them modules in the Python world. Again, but if you don't have that data science background, you don't have that high level of math, uh, you may want to uh, broaden your horizons and look at the other technologies I just suggested if you're looking to get into development. Getting into development is a great idea uh, no matter what age because developers are in super high demand. Uh, if you're into flexibility in terms of the, uh, your, uh, how you work and where you work and uh, you know, with whom you work with, uh, coding and development gives you the maximum flexibility. There's no question about that. Before COVID, remote work and development was, uh, work at home and development was, was not uncommon. Post COVID, it's, it's super common. Even like, uh, in large organizations, they're starting to, they're being forced by the employees, by the way, but they're starting to recognize this, that, you know, why should somebody drive into work to sit down at a computer to log on to the internet and to write code? It makes absolutely no sense. So they're working at home a lot more. Even friends I have who are working at very large traditional organizations and uh, they don't have to go to work anymore. Yeah, that's it. That's the Python delusion, you know. Uh, as always, uh, as you're starting to learn how to code, what you should be doing is start studying the job market as well so you can understanding for that. Most, for most people to get 
commercial with your code, start making money with your code, whether you become a freelancer or you start working for somebody or whatnot, you have to understand the job getting market. You have to look into it, start understanding where the demand is in your area and uh, align your studies accordingly. So that's a big part of it. I hope you found this useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph.